kembali lagi dengan Vira Health dengan berita kesehatan yang paling menarik dan juga terkini. Mau tahu info seputar kesehatan? Langsung aja simak video berikut ini. A brief history of the pyramids. As noted in the history page, the land of Egypt in ancient times was a land with human prowess in building buildings that seemed impossible for humans to do. Large structures such as pyramids were built during the heyday and reign of the Egyptian pharaohs. The pyramids were built since the beginning of the Old Kingdom. The oldest Egyptian pyramids recorded in history were built in 2630 BC during the reign of King Djoser of the Third Dynasty. The designer and architect of the oldest pyramid is Imhotep, a religious leader and royal healer. Of course the construction of this pyramid is the first step of the ambition of the kings of Egypt to show splendor to the world. After King Djoser died, the pyramid became the king's tomb, although at first the pyramid did not function as an official royal tomb. However, Because of the request of the king at the end of his life to be buried in his artificial pyramid, then here and after all his followers and heirs buried the king in the pyramid. One of the pyramids, namely the Red Pyramid, is a pyramid that is believed to be a building specifically made as a place for the first professional tombs in the era of the Egyptian Empire. The Red Pyramid was built and located in Dashur, where it is also the burial place of King Sneferu, the first king of the fourth dynasty of Egypt's kingdoms, 2613-2589 BC. Even though the pyramids are ordinary buildings that ancient humans could do, there are still some people who believe that the pyramids have something to do with aliens or alien creatures. It is possible that this has a lot to do with conspiracy theories and there are many people who believe in these pseudoscientific theories. The National Geographic page notes that there are several historical buildings that are still thought to have been made by aliens, including the Egyptian pyramids, Stonehenge rocks, Teotihuacan, and many more. In fact, modern science has proven that the pyramids and other magnificent buildings are buildings made by humans. The construction, of course, takes a very long time, even though there are still many sides of the building that are considered defective or imperfect due to errors in design calculations. In fact, in this world there are many magnificent man-made buildings that at first glance seem impossible for humans to build. The Great Pyramids of Giza No pyramids are more celebrated than the Great Pyramids of Giza, located on a plateau on the west bank of the Nile River, on the outskirts of modern-day Cairo. The oldest and largest of the three pyramids at Giza, known as the Great Pyramid, is the only surviving structure out of the famed Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. It was built for Pharaoh Khufu, Cheops, in Greek, Sneferu's successor and the second of the eight kings of the Fourth Dynasty. Though Khufu reigned for 23 years, 2589 to 2566 BC, relatively little is known of his reign beyond the grandeur of his pyramid. The sides of the pyramid's base average 755.75 feet, 230 meters, and its original height was 481.4 feet, 147 meters, making it the largest pyramid in the world. Three small pyramids built for Khufu's queens are lined up next to the Great Pyramid, and a tomb was found nearby containing the empty sarcophagus of his mother, Queen Hetafirs. Like other pyramids, Khufu's is surrounded by rows of mastabas, where relatives or officials of the king were buried to accompany and support him in the afterlife. The Middle Pyramid at Giza was built for Khufu's son Pharaoh Khafra, 2558-2532 BC. The Pyramid of Khafra is the second tallest pyramid at Giza and contains Pharaoh Khafra's tomb. A unique feature built inside Khafra's pyramid complex was the Great Sphinx, a guardian statue carved in limestone with the head of a man and the body of a lion. It was the largest statue in the ancient world, measuring 240 feet long and 66 feet high. In the 18th dynasty, circa 1500 BC, the Great Sphinx would come to be worshipped itself, as the image of a local form of the god Horus. The southernmost pyramid at Giza was built for Khafra's son Menkori, 2532-2503 BC. 
It is the shortest of the three pyramids, 218 feet, and is a precursor of the smaller pyramids that would be constructed during the 5th and 6th dynasties. Who built the pyramids? Though some popular versions of history held that the pyramids were built by slaves or foreigners forced into labor, skeletons excavated from the area show that the workers were probably native Egyptian agricultural laborers who worked on the pyramids during the time of year when the Nile River flooded much of the land nearby. Approximately 2.3 million blocks of stone, averaging about 2.5 tons each, had to be cut, transported and assembled to build Khufu's Great Pyramid. The ancient Greek historian Herodotus wrote that it took 20 years to build and require the labor of 100,000 men, but later archaeological evidence suggests that the workforce might actually have been around 20,000. Oke, itu tadi adalah berita seputar kesehatan. Jika teman-teman ada request ataupun pertanyaan boleh banget langsung aja tulis di kolom komentar ya. Dadah, see you di video selanjutnya.